All right, so we are uh, going to write or we are going to implement this concept of looping in uh, Java in this, in this video lesson and uh, guess what in the next video lesson we'll be doing it in Python as well. So anyways, so here I have uh, the template, the usual template we use to write the Java code and now let's go ahead and uh, implement, firstly let's implement the for loop, right? So just following the syntax which we discussed in the previous video we start the for loop by saying for and then open closed brackets and then we have three parts which we need to follow the first part is the declaration and initialization of the variable so let's say i want to declare a variable of integer data type and i'll say int i equal to uh, let's say one right so i have declared the variable int uh, I and then I've initialized it with one and now the next part is I need to actually uh, type in the condition for this for loop so let's say I type in I less than or equal to five so the condition which I have uh, uh, created here is I is less than or equal to five and the third part is the updation of this uh, of this variable so let's say I plus plus which is nothing but I equal to I plus one in short form so you can write that in Java it works in Java it doesn't work in Python so note that so that is a simple for loop right there so this is a simple for loop now you need to actually do uh, open close forward braces like this and anything that we write inside here so the statements we write here will be iterated right so every statement that we write inside this uh, open and close forward braces will be iterated uh, based on the number of uh, based on the condition basically of this for loop right so uh, let's say i want to go for system out print ln and i'll say looping looping right so basically what i'm doing is uh, i want this statement to execute uh, in a loop and how many times i'm actually making this to execute uh, you can see that the initial value of i is one and i'm setting the condition as i less than or equal to five and each time i'm incrementing the value of i with one so basically it starts with one it goes two three four five and when it reaches six when the i value reaches six this condition i less than or equal to five is not satisfied so the control comes out of the loop which means it comes to the tenth line which is nothing but a closed flower braces so the program will end so basically what i meant to say is this system or println statement will be executed for how many times it's five times right so let's go ahead and run that so let's go to cd desktop right so we are here so let's execute this code it's uh, java c followed by looping node java which is the name of the file and compilation done so now let's go ahead and execute it java looping so there we go looping 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 so this uh, statement looping is printed for five times which means this system out print ln statement is actually executed for five times so uh, what if you actually change or make some changes to this for loop let's say instead of uh, so let's say instead of saying i plus plus i say i equal to i plus Two, right so what this means is for every iteration the value of i is incremented by two and not by one so guess what guess how many times will this be executed so first time when i equal to one it is executed and then the value will be i plus two which is three and then for three also it will get executed and then the value of i will be three plus two five so for five also uh, the statement will be executed and then the value will become five plus two, which is seven. And for seven, this loop will not get executed. So yeah, it means three times, right? So we should get the output for three times. Let's test it out. There we go, three times, right? And in the same way, you can even uh, change this to, I don't know, uh, i less than or equal to 10. And now we can check the output of that. Java C looping not Java, Java looping and this time it executed for five times right right uh, so that's that's all about basic of for loop so now let's actually go ahead and i don't know let's remove this condition remove this updation statement what would happen if you remove this updation statement what if you keep it uh, empty like that is it allowed i don't know let's check it out so let's compile the code again, Java C looping or Java, and it compiled, which means we are actually allowed to keep the updation part of the for loop as empty because the compiler clearly allowed it. There are no errors shown there, right? So anyways, let's run the code 
and there you go it's actually printing this statement for infinite number of times so this is what we call as an infinite loop because uh, let me actually stop this execution and if you are wondering how to stop an execution you just hold control C on your keyboard and that will terminate your Java program so okay now let's explain let's try to explain what actually happened here so there is actually no exit point for this loop if you notice because the initial value of i is one we know and uh, every time this condition is satisfied uh, the for loop will iterate so basically in the first iteration the value of i is one and then this this statement will get executed because this condition is satisfied and there is no updation that we are doing to i right so we are not incrementing the value of i right so that means the value of i will stay one forever it will not get executed and one the value one will always be less than or equal to 10 it will forever be less than or equal to 10 and that is why there is no exit point for this for loop because this condition will always forever be satisfied because we are not making any changes to the value uh, value of i right so that's why we are getting an infinite loop right there. We are getting, we are making, uh, we are basically making this for loop to execute infinite number of times. So uh, what if you actually, you know, I don't know, uh, remove this thing as well. If you remove the condition, let's see if it's allowed by the compiler. I don't know. Uh, it is actually allowed by the compiler. So we just declared the, the, the value uh, i and then initialize it with one and then we are not setting any condition we are not even incrementing or decrementing the value so now let's run this code and once again we have an infinite loop and yeah that makes sense right it's because there is no condition first of all to be to check right so that means there is no exit point this loop will run forever because there is no condition in the first place right so obviously the loop will execute forever and what if I even remove this first part right there? We are not even declaring and initializing the variable. Right, let's compile this program. And there are no errors, which means even this is allowed. So let's run this. And once again, you can see that we are having an infinite loop, right? So yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's how you actually do an infinite loop by using for loop which means if you want a set of statements to be executed forever until you hold control C on your keyboard to explicitly terminate your Java program, you can make use of this uh, infinite loop. You can just say for, and then you can say two semicolons. You don't define anything, and then the loop will get executed infinite number of times, right? So uh, I guess that's all about this for loop. And now let's go ahead and talk about the while loop uh that uh, we already discussed about so let's actually look at this while loop so you start the while loop by saying while and then open and closed uh, brackets and inside this open and closed brackets you only mention the condition there is no room for the variable declaration declaration or the variable updation right so you just need to you know say the condition let's say i is less than or equal to 10 is the condition and then you do open and close lower braces so basically statements written here will be iterated right so basically all the statements that are, that are written inside this uh, open and close flower braces will be iterated right now let's do the same thing let's print out system out print ln let's say looping right so yeah and one more thing is since we are just mentioning the condition here we should also make sure that we first declare this variable i because if you just say i is less than or equal to 10 it's going to give you an error because i is not declared yet right so we actually need to say int i just declare i uh, and then also you have to initialize it because we need an initial value of i also right so let's go ahead and uh, compile this program so there is no error and now let's run it there you go we are getting an infinite loop and guess why we are getting it that is because we are once again not making any changes to the value of i right so in order to fix this you can say i plus plus inside this loop inside the while loop so basically after this system or print statement is executed this i plus plus 
statement is executed which will increment the value of i so which means in other words for every iteration the value of i is incremented by one so it will execute for 10 times right just as we discussed in the previous lesson so let's go to java c looping not java java looping and there we go this time the system out println statement is actually executed for 10 times just like how we need it so yeah that's all about this uh, for loop and while loop in java programming language now let's move on to python and uh, implement looping in python as well